Hi, my name is Martin Newman. I'm the founder and CEO of a leading strategic consulting business uh, and digital agency called Practicology. Um, our USP is that we're all retailers. We've all run the online and multi-channel operations for a whole host of brands. To that point in my previous life, I was head of online for the likes of Harrods, for Pentland Brands, for Burberry, and for Ted Baker. And now I leverage that experience along with my colleagues uh, to help our retail customers do a better job of selling to their customers through both the web and their multi-channel operations. Um, the three bits of advice I would give somebody who wanted to become a director of e-commerce or director of marketing. First of all, I think about from a personal point of view, you know, is the role right for me or for you, should that be? Uh, you know, is it the right environment? Is it the right culture? Are you going to be challenged enough in your role day to day? So I guess there's quite a lot in that, but that fundamentally is about the, 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 the opportunity that you're looking at. Is it really a good fit? Um, I'd be thinking about where does it take me? So I'd be thinking about, you know, three years down the line, what am I going to do next? If I join this business today as director of e-commerce or director of marketing, what does that mean for my longer term career aspirations? And really thinking that one through and really bringing that into my decision making process in terms of taking that role. Uh, and the third thing would be about learning. And, and I'd be thinking about not only do I think I can, can I do this job? Is the culture right? Am I going to be challenged enough? Am I going to get the chance to learn? Am I going to have the opportunity to develop my skill set in this environment over the next few years? Because I think it's all well and good having great skills to bring to the table and to be able to be the e-commerce director or the, the uh, marketing director or the multi-channel director for that matter day to day. But what am I going to learn? What's this going to do for me so that in a few years time, again, I've, I've been enhanced by the opportunity that I'm taking on board and it, and it makes my CV and, and my experience that much deeper and richer. For anyone looking to work in practicology, there's a number of clear criteria that we look at. First of all, we only take people that come from a retail background, at least for the people that are actually going to be delivering services for clients. We have colleagues that work in business development and marketing roles that come from a more general background that don't necessarily have to have been retailers themselves, albeit they obviously have a pretty good understanding of the retail sector. But for practicologists, people that are going to be out there advising our clients and supporting our clients, they have to come from a retail background. Ideally in our space, that means online and also the multi-channel aspects of that business. So that's the number one most important factor. In terms of the culture of practicology, practicology is a very collaborative environment. So we're looking for people that want to work alongside others that are open to having support and being supported by their colleagues, but also open to providing support. It's a challenging environment, but in a really good way. So not in a negative way, you know, challenging in the sense that, you know, we like to help people, we like to give people the tools to do the job, but then we like to get them, give them the opportunity to go on and do it themselves. So we like to see people that can actually swim uh, on their own account and not necessarily sink without flotation aids. I think it's I think it's a I definitely think it's a benefit for people to have a good education. If you like I break that rule, I broke that rule. I went straight out of retail into my father's family retail optical practice business. Um, so I didn't go to university. It's something I personally regret. So I think anyone coming into practicology that has a good mix of a good education along with hands-on retail experience, even better if they've also been a service provider and they've got that bundle of relevant experience, then that's that's perfect for us. But I think having a good education is great. I think wanting to continue to better yourself from an education point of view or to get, you know, industry recognised accreditations, I think is always a good thing as well, whether you're in e-commerce or whether you're a marketer. I'd argue there's probably not enough opportunity around for people to do that in our industry. Um, but I do think anything that you can do to better yourself as you develop your career has to be a good thing. We talk about who I admire in, in, in this space, in the world of e-commerce and multi-channel retailing. First of all, let me start with some of my peers. So people like Andy Harding, Chief Customer Officer at House of Fraser, Robin Terrell, Chief Customer Officer at Tesco, Robin Phillips, who's the multi-channel director at Boots. It's a coincidence, they happen to be clients of mine, but they're also good friends of mine. And I think that they've all been incredibly innovative in their own right, they're all very different in how they operate and their own personalities and you know their own strengths and weaknesses but what they've all done in different ways is they've pushed the envelope 
They've driven the commercial performance of the businesses that they've been working in. Some of them through technology, some of them through putting the customer first, some of them, if you like, by combining all of those different components. But I think they've really been at the, the coal face and at the leading edge of shaping the industry and what the industry looks like today. Um, I'm obviously also, I also have a lot of time and respect for other people that have driven growth in the channels that we as marketers and practitioners and traders find ourselves operating in. So I'd be lying if I said I don't admire Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I don't admire Mark Zuckerberg, you know, or I didn't admire Steve Jobs, or I don't admire Jeff Bezos, or, for the, or Jack Ma for that example, you know, in terms of Alibaba. I think people that have come in, disrupted the space that we're in, created new channels, created new ways of engaging with customers, and have created the platform, if you like, for us retailers and service providers to then do a better job of engaging and selling to our customers. I think I've also got a lot of respect for these people. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.